I want to talk to you today about a critical thing I tell people don't dump the thumb and what I mean by that is I want to talk with you about how the position of your thumb changes the shape of the hand and will instantly change the feel of your anchor. Now this is something that is easily noticed if you're shooting a silverback release because you're holding your thumb down on that on that safety as you're pulling back and then you have to let your thumb off the safety so that you can start your pull. The same rule does apply though if you are drawing back and your finger is off the barrel but then you're moving it to the barrel. So what I want to show you here is the way I coach people with keeping this hand flat. The reason I do that is because if you look here at this thumb it allows the thumb to be out of the way with a, with a handheld trigger release when you draw back. But it also allows you to move your thumb to the position it needs to be in without changing the shape of this hand. Same rule applies for a silverback. If you're holding your safety down like this and you relax the thumb off the safety, you want to be able to make this movement right here without changing the shape of the hand. So as an example, I'll show you with some people when they shoot a release, even if they start out with the release in the correct spot like this and they draw back and then you try to bury this, this trigger deep in the back of the thumb back here, which some people teach this, so they'll want to tuck it back here. This is incorrect because look what happens. As soon as I try to tuck this release back here, you can see now the hand starts to create a fist. It starts to create knuckles. And knuckles are never going to feel good on the face. And also there's an inconsistency in your length. So the people who sit there and they, they fight and fight and fight with what is my draw length? Do I need 29 and a quarter? Do I need 29 and a half? Am I 28 and three quarters? Listen, changing the shape of your hand instantly changes length. It instantly changes draw length. It instantly changes feel. It changes fit to the face. Once you start to round the hand, Round knuckles do not feel good on the face. So naturally what you will end up doing to make that feel more comfortable is tuck it behind. And as soon as you shorten up to tuck it behind, you've changed your posture. But more importantly, once this comes behind, instead of the hand being flat, just like this on the side of the face, as soon as it starts to round and you tuck it behind, that arrow will now, instead of being here, clear on the face, as soon as your hand is round and you need to tuck it, well now you've instantly applied pressure to the arrow shaft as well. So this is a critical thing. I tell people, do not dump the thumb. So even if you're shooting a hinge release, Keep your hand flat and work on being able to move your thumb without changing the shape of the hand. So right here I'm safe, I'm letting off, and I'm moving that thumb just like this. Same is true with the knock to it. If the knock to it's here, you draw back safe like this, you move that thumb to position like that, and you shape it, and then you can pull and it'll fire without even having to move that thumb. So this is something that you can work on simply by looking at your hand like this. Hold your release, put it in this row of your knuckles, keep your hand flat, and, and do this drill right here. Work on moving your thumb without changing the shape of your hand and your consistency on your draw length, the feel of your length, the consistency of the release and pulling through and the consistency of how everything feels on your face is gonna be so much better. As you can see, my hand is flat.
and I can pull through. Here we go. One more time. Just like that. Feels so good. All in the thumb.